Hello there, welcome to uh, episode number 6. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to switch the sidebar over to the left side and the content over on this side. So, let's get started. I um, highly recommend you get Firebug. It's a Firefox add-on. Uh, you can check out my first um, web episode to get more information on this. Um, so what we want to do is inspect the sidebar. And over here you can see the sidebar covers the whole thing. Or if you like right clicked on the title you would get all this stuff. You just want to keep minimizing until you get the sidebar. And we also have big contain over here, so we have two. So let's copy this and paste it in here with a number mark because it's the ID. And we pretty much want to overrule some of the um, CSS that's currently applied, which is um, Uh, let's let's experiment here. Let's remove the uh, margarine. So right now it's stuck underneath. And let's add a float left to it. Now it's over on the left side, which is an improvement. Another thing we need to do, I just realized is get rid of the background image which is the sidebar so I'll just copy this paste it in and remove the background there we go and the border too alright now let's add a float right to it Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the uh, one thing I'm talking about. We don't want to. We don't want to move right on there. We want it on big contain because these are the two content and and sidebar. So we want big contain, not block container. My bad. This one we had to float right there. There we go. And as we can see, the sidebar is still not getting over there. So what we want to do is make the make it smaller in width. So right now it has a width of 659 pixels. We'll change that to a 49, and that fits. Okay, that's good. And that's really all there is to it. If you want, we can add a border down this side, and we just do that by adding it over here. Border right, and we'll do. D, D, D for the color sort of match up over there. It's a little darker, but it doesn't really matter. So that's all there is to it. If you want more space, just make the width down even more. Like that. And that's all there is to this one, this uh, episode today. Um, and you can do it vice versa, where if the sideboard's over here and you want it on this side, you can use the same techniques, just change the left and right values, of course. So I hope you uh, learned something new today that you've been wanting to know forever. And uh, if you have any questions, just post a comment below. And um, that's all. See you next week.